That works. Chief, maybe you could just talk right here to uh, Anthony. You ready? Middle here. I am ready. All right. So um, I've got very minimal information for you. Not going to answer a lot of questions. Let's just get that right off the bat. I'll tell you what I know. Uh, just a little while ago, we had shots fired down here on McMicken Street. Um, it was broad daylight, broad daylight in the city of Cincinnati. Um, many fought shots fired. You can see the placards on the ground back there behind us. Um, it's under investigation now. We have four individuals who were shot. One adult in his 20s went to UC Hospital. Three juveniles, 10, 14, and 15 years old, went to Children's Hospital. At this time, none of those injuries appear to be life-threatening. Um, you can see we have a, a multitude of resources out here to work this case for us. Uh, we, have, we, we will eventually be releasing some um, investigatory items, such as the description of the car, anything else that we find. We're going to be pushing that out because we need the citizens of Cincinnati to step up and help us with this, help us solve this. Um, we, as a, as a city, I don't care if you're law enforcement, not law enforcement, I don't care who you are, you should not tolerate this kind of behavior in our city in broad daylight, folks. These were children walking down the street. That is unacceptable for somebody to think they could drive down the street, fire this many rounds, and just keep driving and think they're going to get away with it. They are not going to get away with this. We will work this case until we find out who's responsible and we will hold them accountable. Chief, uh, three are underage. Three we're, are under 18. We're going into summer break. Mm -hmm. Some are already on summer break. Your feelings about the timing of this. Yeah. Yeah, you're exactly right. School just got out last week. This, we're not going to tolerate this all summer, folks. We just are not. Um, there's a lot of things that we as a society here in Cincinnati need to be mindful of. Parents, guardians, where are your children? Where are they during the day? Where are they at night? If you need help getting them involved in some activities to keep them safe, please reach out to us. We have resources that we can help you to keep your kids active, to keep them out of trouble. Um, you know, people in our community, resources, faith-based leaders are always willing to step up and help us. Some of the uh, violence interrupters in this city step up to help us. But it's going to take all of us to send the message that this will not be tolerated, not in Cincinnati. Were you guys able to get any surveillance video of who may have done this? So that's still under investigation. Like I said, don't have a lot of answers for you. Um, we do have some video. I just finished watching it. It appears it's a black four-door Hyundai with dark tinted windows. Drove down the street. There was more than one shooter in the vehicle. Um, maybe an intended target. We don't know that for sure yet. Um, and at least three juveniles walking down the street when this happened. Are you looking into the possibility these are connected to any other incidents? It's too early to say on that, but that will absolutely be part of the investigation, but too soon now. How many more have you got out there? Um, I think the highest number one I saw was 59. Yeah, all of the shots that rang out were right here in this vicinity. I can't say that all 59 are depicting shell casings, but the majority of them are. Uh, the woman, wait, we have an adult male. Adult male. Yes. yes. Adult male 20, 20. 25 ish. 25 ish. 25 ish. Was yep. he with the kids or was he in a separate? It, from the video, it does not appear as they were together. The, the juvenile were separate from the 25 year old. One and more question. Can you give us the juvenile's ages again and just kind of an update on their condition if you have that? Sure. 10 years old, 14 years old, 15 years old. Um, I don't have an update on their condition. I know they're non-life threatening. They are up at Children's Ho Hospital receiving uh, medical care. Chief Lusser, how quickly do you think we can get our hands on the video that you've been looking at so we can show people what the suspect's car looks like? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to try and get that to you as soon as we can because okay. that's a key piece that we want to push out to the, to the citizens of Cincinnati to see if they can help us locate this car. So we'll Chief. get it to you as soon as we can. Chief, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Chief, let me get that microphone off you, Chief.